Ah, meron. <laughs> De, joke lang. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is again, Shine Bright Like Diamond. And on today's vlog, we're, I'm gonna share to you um, regarding about uh, my experiences on applying my UK visa. So for those who haven't watched, I have a separate uh, vlog regarding about um, Schengen visa, guys. So how I plan, how I prepare, how I apply for my Schengen visa. So please watch for it. And um, today's vlog, like I've said, uh, I'm gonna share to you my experiences on my UK visa, and I also have set of questionnaires here. So, so dun, dun sa Schengen visa ko, I have uh, 13 questionnaires that I prepare. But this time, guys, I only have 12. Okay, so those questions are number one, what countries made up UK? Number two, how did I plan uh, for my UK uh, trip? Number three, where to submit or lodge application? Number four, how early can I apply for UK visa? Number five, what are the different type of UK visa? Number six, what are the requirements needed? Number seven, how do I fill up the application form? Number eight, what happens on the day of your submission of application? Number nine, how long was the submission of application? Number ten, how long before you can get the decision or get your passport back? Number 11, how do I read my UK visa? And lastly, number 12, how much did I spend? Okay, so like I've said, I'm going to answer all this question based on how, exper uh, how I experience um, applying for my UK visa. And uh, before I answer, uh, answer all those questions, guys, I just want to say that uh, all the links that I'm going to mention on this vlog, I'm going to flash it on your screen for your, your uh, reference and also on the description or on the caption, guys. So please take time to read. Okay, so let's proceed. Alright, first question, what countries made up UK? Alright, so uh, United Kingdom, guys, uh, compromises uh, four countries, which are um, England, Scotland, Wales, uh, which collectively uh, make up uh, the Great uh, Britain and also Ireland. Okay, so if you have a, a valid uh, Philippine passport or your um, Philippine passport uh, holder and you'd like to visit one of these countries, then you are required to um, apply for a UK visa, okay? Number two, how did I plan? Okay, so how did I plan? Okay, so uh, the first thing that I did, guys, is I planned for my itinerary. Bakit nga ba ako pupunta ng UK? So the main reason why I'd like to go to UK, guys, is because of Harry Potter. Thanks. I've been a fan of Harry Potter since... Um, Petos ako, guys. Binubuntis pala ako ng nanay ko. Harry Potter fan na ako. <laughs> De, joke lang. Um, Harry Potter fan ako since elementary uh, elementary days. And I remember nung, nung college ako, nanonood ako nung Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows Part 2 sa Sinihan. During the closing credits, talagang umiiyak ako. Hanggang sa makasakay ako ng tricycle. Medyo nag-alala pa si Manon Diver. Ne, okay ka lang, ne. <laughs> Nasa makarating ako ng boarding house kasi sobrang attach ako sa movie, guys. And sobrang attach ako sa mga characters. And I feel like wala na akong susubaybayan. Aww. So, yun, nalungkot ako. And ganun, guys. Ganun ako sobrang attach sa movie. And talagang prenames ko sa sarili ko na pupuntahan ko lahat ng mga filming locations ng Harry Potter. And ikakwento ko sa mga apu ko, sa mga anak ko yung Harry Potter story. So, ganun. Kinain ng sistema, di ba? So, that's one of the reasons why I like to go to um, UK. Um, also, uh, dahil sa katatapos lang na best drama series. And recently, um, nanalo sila sa Emmy Award, guys. Congratulations na pala. Uh, dahil sa Game of Thrones, di ba? Makapunta sa Real Westeros. Diba? So, um, isang soundtrack muna dyan. Okay, tama na. Mama, may umiyak naman ako dito, di ba? So, yun, uh, that's one of the reasons also why I'd like to go to UK para mabisita, mabisita yung um, real Westeros, di ba? Hashtag, winter is coming. <laughs> so, uh, meron ako actually uh, schoolmate, um, Kuya Perkins, if you're watching, just wanna mention you. Kasi nakita ko yung uh, post niya sa Facebook, pumunta sila sa Winterfell at saka sa Iron Island. And I checked sa Google kung saan yun. And I found out na nasa Ireland pala siya. Guys, diba? So, I listed it also or included it on my itinerary. So, yun. So, nung um, 
Laman ko na ako ano yung mga countries na gusto kong pibisitahin dun sa UK. So, I check sa CLUC um, kung available yung mga activities na gusto kong gawin dun sa UK, di ba? And the um, good thing is yung Harry Potter Studio Tour in London available siya sa CLUC. Kasi when I check on the official website, um, sold out na yung ticket. So, yun. A good thing um, available siya sa CLUC. And then yung sa Game of Thrones naman, I check sa Google Maps kung Malalapit lang ba yung mga filming locations nung um, Game of Thrones? And I found out na malalayo pala siya guys, ba diba? So, kailangan um, either you will rent a car para mabisita lahat ng mga filming locations na yon or uh, you join a group tour. So, ako, I decided na um, join a group tour. So far, dun sa entire trip ko guys, sa Belfast lang yung um, mostly uh, join a group tour yung um, sasamahan ko. And the rest, DIY na, sariling sikap na. So, yon I check through Klook kung available yung mga activities na yon If not, I check um, sa Google kung ano yung mga um, legit na tour, tour companies where I can join uh, para mas uh, mapuntahan ko yung mga filming locations. Okay? And uh, after that, I check through uh, booking.com kung magkano yung accommodation costs. And since this is a budget trip, I preferred to stay in a hostel. So, I check through booking.com um, kung magkano yung magiging um, accommodation ko and I actually reserve it since last year um, it was the same month also so that's how I how uh, how long I plan and uh, prepare for my UK trip guys diba? plus um, after that I, I check uh, kung magkano ba yung um, aabutin ng transportation ko that's include or that includes um, bus or trains let's say magkano ba yung um masahe ko if I'll be coming from um, airport to my hostel and um, I, I also do research guys kung ano ba yung mga available na transportation cards na pwede kong bilhin para kahit nasa city center ako mas makakatipid ako sa transportation or mas may inambang um, maglakad-lakad para exercise and then um, after that uh, I check through sky scanner kung magkano yung magiging airfare ko and I found out na um, the earlier you book for your flight, the cheaper the price, guys. So, since my um, trip uh, includes uh, a visit um, in a Schengen area and I will be arriving from Paris, the first country that I will visit in UK, guys, is Ireland. So, I check kung magkano ba yung um, airfare from um, Paris to Ireland and Ireland from London. So, yun. Also, I check kung magkano yung round trip ticket. Siyempre, kailangan din natin umuwi ng Pilipinas, ba So, I check kung magkano yung round trip uh, ticket from uh, Philippines to Europe and then uh, going back. Okay? The second uh, thing that I did is um, I check kung ano yung type of visa na kailangan kong applyan. And I found out that I have to apply for a standard visitor visa. So, I check kung ano yung mga requirements needed, kung magkano yung... Um, Aabutin ko just to gather all the documents. And um, the third thing that uh, I did is, um, of course, nung nalaman ko na kung ano yung um, estimate uh, cost ng travel ko kasi I list it all down and I had an estimate cost. So, once I had idea kung ano yung, kung magkano yung abutin ng uh, travel ko, um, I started saving up, guys. Sabi ko nga, if you have plans, you need to have actions then, ba? So, um, every month, meron talaga akong tinatabi for my travel. And thanks God, talaga tinulungan niya ako na mabudget yung monthly income ko. And uh, right after nung um, na, na approve yung Shenyan visa ko, I immediately applied for my um, UK visa, guys, through the VFS Center. So, yun. That's how I plan for my UK trip. Okay? Number three, where to submit or lodge application. Okay, so uh, if you're planning to go to a uh, UK, guys, you can submit your application through uh, VFS uh, Center. And uh, ganun yung ginawa ko, I submitted uh, my application through uh, VFS Center and sila na yung um, nag-submit ng application ko sa British um, Embassy. So, uh, VFS Center or VFS Global Service uh, Services Philippines Private Incorporated, they're located in... Mizanin Floor, Unit M01, um, Echo Plaza Building, 2305 Chino Rosas Avenue, Extension, Makati City, Metro Manila, 1231. 
Okay. So, um, walking distance lang siya sa Alpha Land, guys. And uh, walking distance lang siya from the VIA Center. Okay. Uh, Walk-in submission only from Monday to Thursday from 2 to 3 p.m. And application submission with a, a prior um, appointment is from Monday to Friday from 7 to 2 and their pickup time or collection of passport is from Monday to Friday, 2 to 4. Okay, so yan. Number 4, how early can I apply for UK visa? Okay, the earliest you can apply for your uh, UK visa is 3 months. Um, ako, what I did is right after uh, my Schengen visa was approved, I immediately applied for my UK visa. Okay? Number 5, what are the different type of UK visa? Okay, so there are actually uh, different types of UK visa, guys, and flash it on the screen. Okay, but for the uh, purpose of this vlog, we're going to focus on standard visitor visa. Okay, number six, what are the requirements needed? Okay, so you can actually visit the UK VI website. Again, I'll flash it on the screen. It's also on the description. So you can get the most recent list of requirements for your visa, guys. Okay. And then, uh, pag nagather nyo na lahat ng requirements needed and you're ready to apply for your visa, um, you can uh, check the uh, UK VI um, appointment link. Okay. So you can start uh, filling up your application form. And then, pag natapos na kayo sa application form nyo, you will have to proceed uh, for your payment. And then, right after that, um, makaka-receive kayo ng email from UKVI, yung application form nyo mismo, and then yung document checklist. Again, make sure guys na tama lahat ng information na ilalagay nyo doon sa application form nyo, especially yung email kasi doon nyo receive yung um, application form nyo and yung document checklist. And especially if nakapagbayad na kayo um, kasi touch move siya guys. Hindi nyo na siya um, uh, may edit um, the only way you can edit it is to request for a refund and then you have to submit again a new application form. Okay, so make sure again, tama lahat ng information na ilalagay nyo dun sa um, application form nyo. Okay, so ano ba yung um, itsura ng document checklist? So ganito siya. First page is yung document checklist, uh, yung product detail guys, kung ano yung type of visa na in-apply nyo. So category, visitor visa. Duration, 6 months, payment notification number, yung total fee ng visa, and yung application date. And then, uh, dito banda, yung application, uh, applicant's um, information. So, your applicant's full name, date of birth, country of birth, nationality, passport or travel document number, um, contact telephone number, email, and yung submitted date. And then, the first... Um, Requirement is your passport or travel document. Okay, so if you have old a uh, passport, you have to submit it. Okay, so old and current passport and your car, uh, current passport should be uh, valid for um, six months. Okay, so ako, I submitted just my current passport kasi wala na old passport. I also photocopied the biographical page of my passport, the last page, and yung um, uh, Schengen uh, visa ko guys. So if you have previous visas, you can uh, photocopy it and you can submit it also. And um, all the immigration uh, stamps in all the countries you have uh, visited. So ako yun yung, uh, you know, ako, I, I photocopy also all the immigration stamps. Okay. And nakalagay dito, your application may be refused if you do not provide your passport. We may also ask you to provide more documents at a later time or date. And next is um, information about your visit, documents showing any plans you have made such as tour details, flight details, letter of invitation, evidence of sponsors, immigration status in the UK. Okay, so ako, wala naman akong sponsor. So what I submitted is my complete um, itinerary. Um, by the way, I'll uh, put a uh, link where you can download uh, some sample uh, templates nung pinasa ko yung visa ko such as yung complete itinerary ko. And yung cover letter ko, guys, for my UK visa. Just make sure na pag dinaulod nyo yung cover letter ko, um, uh, hindi nyo copyin word by word yung uh, nakalagay doon. Kasi I, I, uh, I actually indicated sa cover letter ko that uh, it will be a birthday treat for myself. So baka naman lagay nyo rin, uh, birthday, uh, birthday treat nyo rin sa sarili, hindi nyo naman birthday. So, you know, just a sample para you can have an idea how to compose it. Okay. So, anyways, I, I submitted my complete itinerary and yung sa flight details ko, 
um, what I submitted is a reservation ticket, guys, or reservation flight ticket. So, actually, the embassy doesn't really require you to purchase your actual ticket unless um, approved na yung visa nyo, di ba? So, what you can actually submit is a reservation flight ticket. So, to get it, you have two options. Okay, so not all airlines um, provide or offer flight reservation ticket. Um, but if your preferred um, airline is Cathay Pacific, okay, they have an option to hold your fare for 72 hours. Okay. And meron siyang reservation fee ng uh, 15 US dollars. Okay. Right after that, makaka-receive kayo ng um, email. So, ganito yung niya. So, this is actually the email I received from Cathay Pacific. So, nakalagay, your booking of two flights from Manila is being held for 72 hours. And then, nakalagay yung booking reference. Ito banda. And then, yung trip summary ng uh, uh, flight nyo, including the uh, layover. And sa baba is yung passenger details and the uh, payment details nung ni-reserve nyo yung ticket. So, you can have uh, much time kung ipoproceed nyo ba yung ticket nyo or uh, reserve nyo na for the meantime. So, ako nang in-apply ko yung UK visa ko, ito na yung pinasa kong uh, flight reservation ticket. The other option you have is through um, Gazelle Travel and Tours. They are a uh, travel um, agency and I really recommend them kasi napaka accommodating nila, napaka-responsive din nila sa Facebook page nila. So, they have Facebook page, you can visit them. Okay? And, um, if you want to avail uh, one of the services that they offer, yung flight reservation ticket, I'll put the online form. Okay? Um, if you fill up nyo yun, and then one of their uh, representatives will uh, contact you regarding about yung uh, flight reservation ticket. So, yung uh, processing fee nila, Regular processing is 990 pesos. That includes uh, three flights and you will get it um, within three to five working days. Yung rush processing nila is 1,590 pesos. That includes five flights and you will get your reservation ticket within 24 hours on week weekdays and within 48 hours during weekends. Okay. Just make sure to inform Gazelle kung um, kailan yung submission application nyo kasi yung mga airlines, they have different blocking period, okay? And i-inline nila yun sa reservation um, ticket nyo, okay? And also, I actually submitted um, yung hotel reservation ko through uh, booking.com. So, kaya nang uh, sinabi ko kanina, I actually um, reserved for my accommodation uh, through booking.com and reserve ko siya um, since last year pa. It was also uh, the same month, um, September. Uh, September. So, um, I reserved for my ac accommodation through booking.com and um, since this is gonna be a budget trip, I preferred to stay in a uh, hostel and uh, I checked kung uh, yung hostel ko is just within the city center. So, maganda sa booking.com meron silang option um, for no prepayment needed. So, in case hindi ma-approve yung visa nyo, you can cancel it anytime for free and uh, make sure na hindi niya makalimutan i-cancel guys. Okay. So, I reserved uh, for no prepayment needed and I check if my hostel is just within the uh, city center. So, pwede siyang ma-filter. And um, I found out guys na the, the earlier you book for your um, hostel or for your room, the cheaper the price. Okay. So, um, I actually booked it, um, reserved it uh, using uh, my Paymaya card. Kasi kailangan ng credit card para ma-reserve uh, nyo yung um, room. And aside from that, I check if may mga available ba silang dorm dormitories or female dormitories para I'm comfortable enough na mga babae rin yung kasama ko sa room. Okay? But if you have a uh, sponsor, then you can provide a letter of um, invitation of your sponsor. Okay? So, yun. Okay, so next on the checklist for UKVI visitor visa is current employment documents showing the income and employment stated in application forms such as letter from employer, pay slips, tax returns, business registration documents, or business bank account statements. Okay, so ako, uh, what I submitted since I am employed, I submitted the uh, certificate of employment from the company, the approved leave of absence, um, pay slips, um, six months uh, pay slips ko guys, para they can really uh, check, uh, malalaman nila kung uh, magkaroon ba talaga yung uh, monthly income nyo, and also, uh, tax returns. Okay, so, yun lang naman. Next on our checklist for uh, UKVI um, visitor visa is 
money, either income or savings. Documents such as bank statements, bank books, bank letter, balance certificate, tax returns, and crop receipts. So ako, what I actually submitted is yung um, bank certificate ko from uh, BPI since andun yung payroll ko, supported by uh, bank statements or statement of account history uh, for the past three months. Kasi yung kaya lang ng bank ko is yung uh, three months account history nyo. So yung mga previous months pa from uh, December to March, I get it from uh, BPI mobile apps. So, if you have a, a BPI mobile apps, guys, um, under other services, you can actually uh, save and print yung statement account statement of account nyo. There's a specific um, date range where you can actually uh, save and print yung uh, statement of account history nyo. So, kailangan yon. And, um, yung um, international uh, statement of my credit card. So, if you have credit cards, you can uh, submit also yung um, statement of account history ng uh, credit cards nyo for at least uh, 6 to um, 8 months. Okay. So, uh, you might be uh, asking um, how much ba dapat yung laman ng account ko para maapprovehan ng um, embassy yung visa application ko. So, mga ano siya guys. Um... The joke lang. Well, uh, based on my experience, it really depends on your um, itinerary if it's gonna be a um, budget trip or a luxurious trip. So, to give you an idea, guys, uh, what I did, like I've said, I've listed all the countries that I'd like to visit and then I checked uh, through Klook kung available yung mga activities na um, gusto kong gawin doon sa Europe and uh, plus yung uh, accommodation ko through uh, booking.com okay plus yung transportation ko that includes um, buses or trains and yung mga transportation cards na pwede kong bilhin um, para mas makatipid ako on my transportation if I'm just gonna be in the city center or mas mainam bang maglakad-lakad lang plus um, uh, through Skyscanner I check yung um, airfare ko just within um, Europe and also the uh, round trip uh, ticket um, from Philippines to uh, Europe and then uh, going back. Plus, um, daily allowance, guys. So, just in the uh, UK, I will be there for um, 8 days. So, I had an estimate budget uh, or daily budget of uh, 6,000. So, 6,000 times 8 days. I included that on my budget. Plus, yung uh, visa, guys. Kung magkano yung uh, visa. So, I total it, okay, and then I had an estimate cost uh, for my uh, travel, and I make sure na yun yung uh, laman ng account ko. Yun yung nagre-reflect sa um, bank account ko, guys. Uh, and uh, on top of that, I make sure na I have um, enough money that will be left on my account para I can convince the embassy na once uh, babalik ako dito sa Pilipinas, I still have enough money that will be left on my account and hindi ako maza zero balance. Oh, so, no. that's how I uh, formulated my own um, formula. And also, on your uh, bank statement, guys, make sure uh, that you will provide at least um, six to um, eight months, okay? And also, make sure na proportion siya sa uh, monthly income nyo, okay? Um, kasi doon pa lang malalaman ng um, embassy, guys, if meron ba talaga kayong sinisave sa um, account nyo, um, meron ba talaga kayong um, uh, ipon, and uh, kaya nyo ba talaga yung um, travel nyo. Okay, so make sure proportion siya. Hindi pwedeng um, maglalagay kayo ng um, isang bagsaka na pera like you will um, put a 100,000 or 200,000 sa account nyo just to convince the embassy na meron kayong ganun kalaking pera. So hindi pwede yun guys. Doon pa lang sa statement of account history nyo, malalaman nila if you're telling the truth or not. Okay, so like I've said, it's, it should be proportion kasi kung... Um, ganito lang yung dineclare nyo na monthly income and sobrang laki ng nasa account nyo, it will draw a question to the embassy side na bakit sobrang laki ng nasa account mo and ganito lang naman yung dineclare mong um, monthly income. So, magiging questionable yun guys. Unless you have other uh, sources of income or you have uh, businesses, just make sure you can provide um, necessary documents para hindi maging um, question yun sa embassy guys. Okay? So, uh, make sure na transparent kayo and truthful kayo dun sa mga 
na pinapasa yung um, documents. Okay? So, it's really just a matter of um, you know, putting yourself into the embassy shoes na kung kayo yung visa officer and you're looking at the uh, you're looking at your application um, how would you convince them diba, na aprubahan yung visa nyo wherein yung um, ito yung itinerary nyo and yung account nyo is ganito lang. Okay? Get it? Diba? So how would you convince them? So like I've said, it's it's really just uh, depends on your itinerary if again if it's a budget trip or a luxurious trip. Just make sure if it's a luxurious trip, you have that enough money um, para sa luxurious travel na yan. Okay? So, that's it. Next on the checklist is home address. Documents showing where you live, such as property did, mortgage statements, tenancy agreements, accounts letters, and land registration documents. Okay, so ako, ang pinasa ko is yung certificate title of my property, which is itong bahay. And uh, if you have also ORCR, guys, um, ng sasakyan, pwede nyo ipasa yon. So, these documents, guys, plus factor siya sa um, visa application nyo. Kasi this will really convince the embassy na meron at meron kayong uuwian dito sa Pilipinas kasi meron kayong mga properties. Okay? Next on the checklist is additional information. Evidence of family members remaining in your home country while you travel. Okay, so ako, gumawa ako ng um, uh, template uh, wherein in-indicate ko doon yung family members na iwan dito sa Pilipinas while I travel. So, yung um, pangalan naman ng mother ko and father ko. And nilagay ko rin yung uh, present address nila, yung occupation, and their birth date. So, again guys, I have a sample uh, template for that, you can visit the link. Okay? I'll flash it on your screen. It's also in the description. So, you can have an idea how to compose it also. Okay? Last on the checklist is other uh, documents. So, ilalagay nyo dito kung ano yung mga other documents that you'd like to submit to the embassy. And here on this section, you have to put a uh, check mark kung i-include nyo siya sa pag-submit nyo ng um, application. So, ako, um, if you notice, wala ditong uh, travel um health insurance, uh, they're not really asking you to submit or uh, get a uh, travel health insurance but I suggest guys na kumuha kayo ng travel health insurance especially pag ganito kalayo yung travel nyo from Philippines to a foreign country, especially uh, Europe, di ba? Uh, para you're comfortable enough na yung uh, travel nyo is insured. Okay? And if you would like to get a travel health insurance, I recommend MAFRE, guys. So, like I've said, dun sa Schengen visa ko, it's uh, required to uh, get a travel health insurance. And the good thing about uh, Maf MAFRE, uh, mas mura siya sa lahat ng mga accredited uh, health insurance ng Schengen. And also, valid din siya sa UK, guys. Okay, so um, if you would like to get um, Mafre Health, uh, Travel Health Insurance, I'll put their link so you can visit their um, website. Okay, so again, I really recommend um, Mafre guys kasi napaka uh, responsive din nila, napaka um, accommodating nila. If you're gonna contact them uh, through their um, email, talagang i-assist kayo, kayo ng um, Mafre. Okay, so yun. I also uh, submitted a uh, cover letter, guys. So, maganda sa cover letter is you can really explain yourself um, kung bakit bakit pupunta sa, sa country na yan, ano yung reason nyo, bakit kayo uh, pupunta, like like this uh, on my trip, um, I indicated uh, bakit ako pupunta ng UK, and I indicated it's gonna be a birthday trip for uh, myself, and uh, also I indicated there that I'll be coming from uh, Paris as my trip. Uh, will uh, include a trip to a uh, Schengen area and um, the Italian embassy already approved my uh, visa. So, uh, maganda doon is you can really explain um, if meron kayo mga other information na hindi ma-provide ma like bago lang kayo sa company and hindi kayo makapagsabit ng ITR. So, you can explain it through your um, cover letter. Okay? And again, uh, it's on the sample uh, visa templates. Um, you can uh, download it so you can uh, again, have an idea how to compose your own cover letter. And just make sure, guys, na, again, um, hindi nyo kukopyahin word by word. Kasi, like I've said, in-indicate ko doon na it's gonna be a birthday treat for myself. Baka naman kopyahin nyo, hindi nyo pala birthday, ba? So, just a uh, sample, guys. Okay? 
and uh, also I indicated or I submitted a PSA birth uh, certificate. So if you have sponsor, you have to submit also a birth certificate ng sponsor nyo to show your uh, relationship, guys. Ako wala naman, so I submitted just my PSA birth certificate. Okay. And on the sixth page of your uh, UK visas and immigration checklist, uh, you will have to check the following boxes to confirm you understand the application process. Okay, there are uh, three boxes. And important note, do not sign until you are at your appointment. So, ilalagay niya lang yung date, yung name nyo, and yung signature nyo the moment na mag apply na kayo or magsasabit na kayo ng application you guys. Okay? So, take note. Uh, the next step is you must book and attend an appointment with our commercial partner. Your biometrics, fingerprints, and facial photograph will be taken during the appointment unless you are exempt. Applicants under 5 years old at the time of their appointment will only need a facial photograph taken. Okay. So, like I've said, after no uh, application of uh, you fill up the application form, you will have to proceed uh, for your payment. And then after that, you have to book your appointment, guys. Okay? So, make sure to check your email kasi i-register nyo yung um, account nyo sa uh, VFS Global UK VI. So, I'll put the uh, link ng v VFS Global um, Appointment uh, website para you can register your account and uh, makabag-book kayong appointment. So, what happened uh, on my case is uh, I booked my appointment and then nung refresh ko yung page, biglang uh, I was asked to register and uh, kung ano na password nilagay ko doon hanggang sa na-lock out yung uh, account ko uh, yun pala may in-email sila na one-time password yun yung ilalag in nyo sa um, account nyo para ma-register yung, yung account nyo mismo at makapag-book kayo ng um, appointment so nangyari na uh, na-lock out yung account ko hindi ko na ma-register yung account ko I contacted the uh, UKVI customer service um, para makapag-book ako ng, ang, ng appointment. So, if in case mangyari sa inyo na gusto nyo mag-inquire uh, through UKVI customer service, I also, I'm also also gonna uh, flash the UKVI customer service um, website. Okay? Um, just take note, guys, na may bayad. Okay? May bayad yung inquiry. So, yun. Uh, I registered my um, my account and then, um, during dun sa pag-book nyo ng appointment, guys, you will be asked whether or not you will scan your own document and submit it um, online or you will uh, uh, avail uh, their document scanning assistance. So, ako, I avail for their document scanning assistance. Just make sure if you're gonna scan it um, on your own, um, make sure na clear and legible yung pagka-scan ng documents and it should be A4 sizes, yung mga documents nyo. Okay, so uh, during dun sa pag-book uh, nyo ng appointment, meron sila mga iba't ibang um, services that they actually um, offer guys. So just to give you an idea, yung mga premium services nila, they have gold, bronze, and silver. Ano ba yung mga premium services na yun? So uh, for example, yung gold service nila is uh, inclusive of walk-in without appointment, career service, premium lounge. So kung medyo maarte kayo, ayaw nyo ng... Um, ayun yun ng uh, madlang people yes. medyo uh, allergic kayo sa maraming tao so you can avail that uh, career service um, SMS service uh, Vodafone SIM card and yung document scanning assistance so like I've said, hindi na ako nag-avail ito so sobrang mahal ng mga to um, I just avail yung document scanning assistance nila also, meron sila mga priority service uh, services that they offer like yung super priority visa um, priority visa service and also priority visa for settlement or immigration service. So, yung super priority visa, nagkakalaga siya ng 64,052 pesos. Oh, mahal ito ah. Um, sabi dito sa super priority visa, get visa decision in 24 hours. So, agad-agad, malalaman nyo na kung ano yung decision ng visa nyo just within 24 hours. And yung priority visa service nila is nagkakahalaga siya ng 14,740 pesos. Ano Put your application at the front of the queue. So, kung gusto nyo bida-bida, um, yung application yun nandun talaga sa very first uh, or first in the queue. So, you can avail that. And also, priority visa for settlement or immigration service. Nagkakahalaga siya ng 38,391 
pesos. Sabi dito, put your application for settlement or migration at the front of the queue. Okay. Mali itong mga priority services na to. So, yun. Yun yung mga sample ng um, premium services and priority services that they offer. So, again, during uh, um, appointment nyo or book your appointment, um, you can have uh, option to avail their services, guys. Okay. Okay, so, yun guys, uh, those are the list of uh, requirements needed for your standard uh, visitor visa. And again, uh, one of the requirements needed is yung application form. Okay, again, I'll flash on the screen. And again, nasa description siya, uh, the uh, UKVI application uh, website. Okay, um, if you're uh, ready to apply for your uh, visa, once na gather nyo na yung requirements nyo, and um, you're ready to fill up the application form, so, that's the uh, link, guys. Okay? So, um, again, take note, guys, to answer the application uh, form um, truthfully and honestly. Okay? Kasi usually, sa UK visa, wala siyang um, interview, guys. Okay? And um, make sure also to answer it correctly. Kasi once uh, you're done with the application form and nakapagbayad na kayo, there's no way to edit it. Uh, the... Uh, uh, the option uh, that you can do is to uh, request for a refund and then you have to submit a new application form. Okay? So, paano ba siya i-fill up? So, ganito yung itsura niya. UK visas and immigration form. So, dito sa upper right, nandun yung barcode and then yung reference number ng uh, visa application nyo. So, here um, are your details. So, applicant name, GWF number or your reference number of your visa, passport number, country of nationality, date of birth, gender, date of application, type of visa or application. So, sa akin nakalagay visitor visa. Service option, it's just gonna be a standard. Duration of uh, visa, it's gonna be 6 months and yung total fee ng visa. Submission method is online, yung payment reference, your contact email, and contact language. Again, make sure na tama yung um, email nyo sa pag- uh, um, fill up nyo ng application form kasi dun yun isasubmit yung um, application or dun kayo makaka-receive ng um, email from UKVI regarding about yung um, application form nyo and yung document checklist and dun din um, makaka-receive kayo ng notification from UKVI kung ano yung uh, uh, result ng uh, visa application nyo. Not, not exactly the result but you will be uh, uh, you will receive a notification kung um, pwede nyo na bang makuha yung passport nyo. Okay? So, dun sa personal information, uh, your email address, um, travel information, what is the main reason for your visit to the UK? So, akin nakalagay to reason, um, including visiting family and friends. Will you be uh, traveling to the UK as a part of an organized group? So, akin no. Will you be traveling to the UK with someone who is not your partner, spouse, or dependent? So, akin no. What is the main reason for your holiday visit to the uh, UK? Sa akin nakalagay, tourist. Give details of the main purpose of your visit and anything else you plan to do on your trip. So, ito guys, um, parang a brief essay kung ano yung gagawin nyo doon uh, sa UK. So, ako, um, I indicated there, um, I will be um, arriving from a uh, Schengen um, area and that um, approved na yung visa ko. So, Medyo, at sabi kasi nila, um, lagyan daw ng um, konting drama yung essay, guys. So, lagay ko, I hope and pray that you will give me a chance to turn my dream into a reality. O, oh, ba Ponga. Okay, so, your planned travel um, information. So, date you plan to arrive in the UK, yung first day nyo. Date you plan to leave the UK, yung last day. And uh, under personal information, your given name, family name, are you now have, or are you now or have uh, ever been known by another name? So, no. Who does the email address belong to you? So, nalagay ko, it's mine. So, you. Do you have another um, email address? So, no. What is your gender as shown in your passport or travel document? Um, what is your relationship status? So, nalagay ko, single, ready to mingle. Country of nationality, country of birth, place of birth, date of birth. Do you have a valid national identity card? So, tayo wala naman. So, no. 
do you currently hold or have ever held any na other nationality or citizenship? So, ako, no. But if you have, you can answer yes and you will be asked uh, what uh, nationality it is. And your address. And is this address also your correspondence address? So, like, yes. How long you have lived at this address? What is the ownership status of your home? Provide your telephone number. So, if you have telephone number. But if you, have mo uh, if you don't have, you can put your mobile number. Where do you use this telephone number? So, ko for use while out of the UK. Okay. So, select whether this is your home, mobile, or work telephone number. So, kung ko mobile telephone number. Are you able to be contacted by telephone? So, kung ko I can be contacted by telephone, call, and text message. Um, you will also have an option if you can only be contacted by telephone or if you can only be contacted through text. Okay. So, the passport details, passport number or travel document reference number, issuing authority, issue date, and expiry date. Under dependent details, so yeah, you will be asked, does anyone rely on you for financial support? Include both those traveling with you and those who are not. Okay, so again, this is going to be a solo trip. So, I like could know. Under parent details, so you will be asked, uh, what's the person's relationship to you? So, I like mother and um, ligay ko yung given name, family name, date of birth, country of nationality ng mother ko, and also yung father ko. So, under employment, what is your employment status? Okay. So, ligay ko employed, the date you started working for this employer, employer's name, employer's address, employer's telephone number, your job title, how much do you earn each month after tax. So, make sure honest kayo dito guys kasi you will uh, provide your uh, monthly uh, pay slips at least 6 months okay um, describe your job so just briefly describe kung ano yung ginagawa niyo sa trabaho niyo okay and uh, previous employment organization so meron silang i-list down doon ng mga um, employment organization so indicate niyo if you have work in uh, any of those um, organizations ako i indicated i have not worked in any of those job listed okay so um, under income and expenditure so, dito medyo may konting mathematics tayong gagawin. So, you, uh, they will ask, do you have another income or any savings? So, like, savings. How much do you have in, uh, how much do you have in your savings? In pounds, okay? So, uh, ni-indicate ni ko doon magkano yung savings ko doon sa bank certificate ko na nagre-reflect um, in pounds, guys. Okay? So, make sure honest kayo kasi, again, you will submit your bank certificate and uh, make sure na ganun din yung nagre-reflect dito sa um, application form. And then, uh, they are going to ask how much money are you planning to spend on your visit to the UK. So, you can indicate here in uh, uh, peso, guys. So, how much ba yung isispend you down sa UK? What is the total amount of money you spend each month? So, yung monthly expenses nyo, guys. Okay? So, do the math and you can indicate here in peso also. Will anyone be paying towards the cost of your visit? So, ako, no, but if you have, then you can answer yes. And uh, they're going to ask you, um, kung sino yung sponsor nyo, details of your sponsor. So, family in the UK. Do you have any family in the UK? So, ako, no. Accommodation details. Do you have an address for where you're going to stay in the UK? So, nalagay ko yes. Where are you planning to stay in the UK? So, nalagay ko yung name ng hostel ko first in Belfast. Enter the address for where you are staying, yung address doon sa Belfast. When you will arrive there, so my first day there, when you will leave there. So, yung last day ko sa Belfast. And then, another name ng hostel ko sa um, London. So, ilalagay nyo doon, guys, if it's going to be a solo trip and you don't have any sponsor. Each um, hostel or each accommodation na um, tutuluyan nyo doon sa UK. Okay? Their address, uh, your first and last day. Okay? And then, uh, travel history. Have you been to the UK in the past 10 years? So, ako, no. Have you ever entered UK illegally, remained in UK beyond the validity of your visa or permission to stay, breached the condition of your leave, for example, work without permission, or received public funds when you did not have permission, given false information when applying for a visa, leave to enter, or leave to remain, breach UK immigration law in any other way? So, ko, no lahat ng yan, okay? And they're gonna ask you also uh, for either the UK or any other country, have you ever been refused visa, refused entry, so lahat ng to, no lahat ng yan. Okay? So, uh, under travel history, how many times have you visited the following places, such as Australia, Canada, New Zealand, 
USA and the uh, European Economic um, Area. These countries, guys. So, ako, no. Di pa. So, zero. And they're gonna ask you, uh, uh, other than those countries mentioned, guys, have you uh, been to any other country in the past 10 years? So, ako, lagay ko yes. And lagay ko yung um, countries that I have visited. Which country did you visit? So, lagay ko yung Singapore. What's the reason? Um, when did I enter? And when did I leave? So, each country that I have visited, guys, I indicated it. Okay. So, sa um, other history, they're gonna ask you, in either peace or wartime, have you ever been involved or suspected of involvement in war crimes, crimes against humanities, or genocide? So, they're ba basically all of this, they're asking about your criminal activities or um, part back in the uh, terrorist, guys. So, no, lang, no lahat ng yan nakalagay sa akin, malinin sa akin pagkatao. Okay. Um, up to the conviction and other uh, penalties. So, no yan. I have never had any of this. Yan. So, sa extra information, again, um, essay ulit about uh, your reason why you'd like to go to UK. And like, uh, like I've said, sabi nila, um, lagyan doon ng konting drama para pag nabasa nila, medyo ma matatouch sila and ma-approve nila yung visa nyo. So, kung lagyan ko rin ng konting drama, guys. Okay. So, sa English uh, language, uh, or uh, they're gonna ask you, we may have to talk to you about your application, but usually there's really no interview. But uh, if there's gonna be an interview, they're gonna ask you, which language would you prefer to use? So, ako lagay ko English. Okay. And sa documents, they're gonna uh, indicate there the mandatory uh, documents that you have to pass, and that's gonna be your passport or your travel documents. Okay. And also on uh, payment, uh, they're gonna indicate there the length of your visit visa, which is six months. If you apply for a uh, visit visa, the standard one, and the type of service, which is standard service, and also how much yung fee. Okay. And uh, you will uh, sign the um, agreement for uh, the uh, application form. Okay. So that's it. Uh, that's how you actually uh, fill up the application form. Very easy. Okay. Number eight on our set of questionnaires, what happens on the day of your submission of um, application? Okay, so again guys, um, make sure to arrive early before your scheduled time, at least um, 10, to minute, uh, 10 to 15 uh, minutes. Okay, so doon sa VFS Center, pagdating nyo doon, uh, magantay kayo doon sa harap ng um, escalator. And then tatawagin ng guard uh, based doon sa scheduled time nyo and then based doon sa country of visa that you're applying for. Okay. So, yun. Tawagin niya. Um, okay. So, lahat ng mga um, UK visa applicants, pasok na. Kasi doon sa VFS Center, nandun na lahat. Um, Netherlands, Germany, Australia. Nandun na lahat um, nung different country of uh, visa, guys. So, yun. Uh, tatawagin niya. And then, doon sa harap mismo ng VFS uh, Center, Pipila kayo doon, again, based on the country visa that you're applying for, kasi magkakaroon muna ng homily si Manong Guard. So, sasabihin niya ako ano mga bawal sa loob ng VFS Center, guys. So, yun, sasabihin niya ako ano mga bawal, and I'll flash it on the screen, ano mga bawal. Okay, so, yun yung mga bawal na devices, guys. And, you might be asking, pwede ba cellphone? Okay, so, pwede yung cellphone, guys, but la basta dapat naka-silent. So, yung application nyo or yung mga documents nyo, pwede, of course, and then yung um, wallet, pwede din yon Okay? So, ang tip ko sa inyo is magdala kayo ng kasama, guys. Um, if in case na meron kayong mga unnecessary things na bawal dun sa loob ng uh, VFS Center, at least pwede nyo maiwan sa kasamahan nyo. Or you can uh, um, opt to um, have a locker, guys. Pwede kayo mag-avail sa locker nila. Um, may bayad siya. Okay? So, yun. Um, Tawagin ng guard kung, uh, kung sasabihin ng guard kung ano yung mga bawal. And if you want to um, offer a uh, locker, so pagpasok nyo, um, nasa right side, sa bandang dulo, kukuha kayo ng number. Of course, ibibigay nyo yung gamit nyo, kukuha kayo ng number. And yung bayad is after na ng application nyo. So, babalik ulit kay sa pila, and then tatawagan ulit ng um, ng ma ni Manong Guard kung sino yung mga pwede nang pumasok ano yung mga country uh, na pwede nang uh, pumasok and based on your priority also so okay, sino ba yung mga applicants for UK? 
and based on your priority services also. So, kung nag-avail kayo ng mga priority services na nabanggit ko kanina, like yung super priority service guys, kayo yung unang papapasukin. So, kami wala naman so far. So, pagpasok nyo doon, pipila ulit kayo doon sa reception area. And yung receptionist, uh, kukunin niya yung appointment letter nyo and yung passport nyo. So, make sure to bring your appointment letter. Okay? And then, after that, you have to proceed doon sa uh, visa application room. So, pagpasok nyo, magkatabi yung dito sa right side yung UK visa and uh, dito sa left side yung um, Australian uh, visa application. So, pagpasok nyo, merong... Um, Uh, magigreet sa inyo and bibigyan kayo ng um, uh, form. So, whether or not you'd like to avail for um, SMS or uh, delivery. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo ba yung passport nyo, um, it, it will be delivered to your preferred um, address or uh, pick up. So, ako, uh, baka kung saan-saan paabutin yung passport ko, so pick up na lang. Okay? And you will also be given a barcode Um, separator guys. So, ganito yung tsura niya. On the upper left, merong barcode and then yung uh, VFS Global. This barcode separator needs to be submitted with. So, merong employment services or employment evidence, um, consent letters and proof of relationship. And merong ding barcode for accommodation, permanent or temporary. And nakalagay, photocopies must be clear and legible. And document should be A4 size. And it should be free from any clips, pins, or staples before submitting. And it should be, or document should not be laminated. Okay? So, make sure yung documents you guys hindi naka-staple. Kasi nangyari sa akin, pagpunta ko doon, naka-staple yung mga documents. Kung so, nagtatanggal, tanggal pa ako ng mga staple wires. So, pwede i-clip nyo lang para hindi kayo mahirapan na i-arrange yung documents na documents nyo. So, make sure na uh, you will arrange your documents uh, with the barcode separator that uh, they're going to provide. So, after that, i-check nila yung mga documents nyo kung naka-arrange ba ng maayos. And then, um, if you actually avail for, your, uh, for their uh, document scanning assistance, you'll be given a queue. Okay? And, um, i-scan nila yung uh, documents nyo. And then, yun na yun, isasabit nila sa British Embassy. You don't need to actually uh, submit this, um, yun na nila kukunin yung um, hard copy ng mga documents nyo. Isascan na lang nila and yun na yung isasubmit nila. And then, you will be asked kung um, if you want to avail the SMS or yung yung um, delivery ng passport nyo guys. So, if yes lahat yun, then you have to pay for the corresponding fee. And then, um, they will issue a receipt. So, make sure to keep the receipt that they're going to issue, guys. Kasi kakailanganin nyo yan sa pagkuha nyo ng uh, passport. Okay? Then, right after that, uupo ulit kayo kasi meron pa silang i-assist na ibang applicants. But, the same queue number, guys, you will be called again for biometrics. So, naka-separate uh, room siya. And then, pagpasok nyo doon, um, of course, uh, kukunan kayo ng mga ng biometrics. So, make sure na lang mga sulat-sulat yung daliri nyo, walang sugat, ayan, so malinis para walang aberya sa pagguha ng biometrics. And then, you will be also taken a photograph. So, you don't need to bring a photo kasi pipituran kayo doon. Okay? So, after that, kung okay na lahat doon, um, if, again, uh, you avail for their uh, locker, then, kunin nyo muna yung gamit, gamit nyo, and then, um, you have to pay for the locker, guys. After that, pwede na kayong maglakwat siya, magalagala. Okay. And uh, right after nung um, napasa ko na yung application ko sa VFS Center, kinagabihan actually guys, I receive a um, SMS from VFS. So ito yung uh, message nila. It was sent Thursday, um, August 22, kung kailan ako nag-apply ng application ko. At 6.44pm, the visa application for, yung uh, reference number ng application ko, was forwarded to UKVI on August 22. So, umaga ako nag-submit uh, ng application ko and agad-agad napasa nila sa um, British Embassy yung um, application ko, guys. So, bilis, no? So, yun. Number nine, how long was the submission of application? Okay, so, uh, my schedule time was actually um, 7 a.m. Natapos ako mga 8, so almost an hour lang. But, uh, dumating ako doon mga 6.30. So, again, guys, make sure to um, arrive early before your scheduled time. At least um, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay? Um, and don't forget 
to bring your appointment letter and yung mga documents for your visa application para uh, walang aberya sa pag-apply nyo ng visa, guys. Okay? Number 10, how long before you can get the decision or your, get your passport back? Okay, so regular processing, guys, is for 15 working days. And uh, based on my experience, um, hindi ako masyadong pinahirapan ng British Embassy uh, compared sa Italian Embassy, guys, na sobrang haba ng pag-antay ko ng result ng visa ko, ba? Mabaliw-baliw na ako sa kakaantay ng result. Um, so far dito sa UK visa ko, guys, medyo konting stress na yung naramdaman ko. So what happened ba? August 22, I submitted my application. So, right after nung na-approve yung siyang yung visa ko, I immediately applied for my UK visa. And then, um, um, I waited for few weeks. Actually, uh, medyo na-stress ako din. Kasi, walang walang follow-up from the embassy. Hindi ako nakarasid ng any call. And, uh, piniprepare ko na yung sarili ko. Baka meron na naman akong ma-receive na letter from the embassy. ba? So, um, wala eh. Walang, walang follow-up sa kanila. And, yun. Sobrang tagal ko nag-antay. Hindi mo sobrang tagal. Medyo nainip lang ako. Um, I contacted the UK uh, VI customer service guys through um, email. And again, may bayad siya. So, um, ginaranti naman nila, confirm nila na yung UK visa ko is being processed. Okay? Um, do not, ano raw muna, uh, do not um, purchase an actual ticket unless your visa is approved. So, yun. So, okay. I waited. And then, finally, September 6, I get, um, or I receive an SMS from VFS. And, and ito yung message nila. So, it was sent Friday, uh, September 9, at uh, 7.15 p.m. Sabi, the decision on your UK visa application with reference number reference number ng application um, application ko has been made. If you opted for career delivery at the time of submission, your passport will be delivered to your chosen address. Alternatively, you may collect your passport at the VAC from 2 to 4 Monday to Friday except on embassy declared holidays. So finally, ayan na, naka-receive na ako ng SMS from VFS and unfortunately Friday siya, diba? Friday siya na-receive at gabi na. So, hindi ko na pwede makuha yung uh, passport ko and again, uh, excited ako malaman, diba? But then I have to wait until the weekend is over para makuha ko yung passport ko. So, um, September 9, I went to the VFS Center and um, doon, uh, pagpasok nyo, papapasokan din kayo kaagad ng guard and then, pagpasok nyo, like I've said, pagpasok nyo doon sa um, application room, dito sa right side, yung uh, UK uh, application um, and then sa left side, yung yung um, Australian, so magkatabi sila. So, I was given a queue and I actually waited doon sa uh, kung saan ako nag-apply, guys. And tinitingnan ko yung cue board. Bakit hindi pa tinatawag yung number ko? Anong nangyayari? So, pumunta ako doon sa um, nagbigay ng cue number ko. Sabi ko, uh, Miss, uh, dito pa banda yung ano, passport collection? I know po, ma'am. Doon po sa dulo, ma'am. So, mali pala. Okay. So, again, sa pagpasok nyo, guys, kung nandito yung UK um, application, na, nasa pinaka uh, left yung passport collection, guys. So, doon nyo kukunin yung passport, okay? Hindi doon sa um, application uh, section, guys. So, doon sa may passport um, collection. And, um, again, sa pagkuha nyo ng passport nyo, kailangan yung uh, you have to bring the receipt issued by the VFS Center, a photocopy of your uh, valid ID. If representative yung kukuha, yung uh, receipt, na inisyo ng VFS and then a photocopy of uh, your ID and photocopy ng representative nyo and also letter of authorization. Okay? So, ipapasan nyo lang doon and then you have to wait kasi uh, maraming mga applicants na kumukuha ng passport nila guys. And then yon uh, nung tinawag na yung pangalan ko and um, I was actually advised na, ma'am, pakicheck po yung passport kung passport nyo ba talaga yung nakalagay dyan. So, nak nakuha ko na yung package guys. Ginaganong-ganong ko yung papel. Ay, um, okay, so passport ko lang nakalagay, walang ibang papel. So, <gasps> passport ko ba talaga to nakalagay dito? So, chinek ko muna. Uh, I check ko talaga passport ko. So, okay, passport ko pala. So, yun, I actually have uh, a video, guys, a visa reaction video also, nung um, araw na kinuha ko yung uh, passport ko. So, please watch. Okay, just got my passport. Oh, 
Oy, so yun guys, gaya nga na sabi ko, yung nakuha ko yung package ko, passport lang yung um, laman. And uh, I can have a feeling na siguro pa, siguro positive to, siguro approved to. But then, again, um, make sure na passport yun rin yung laman nung package, ba diba? So I check and talagang mukha ko naman talaga yung nakalagay doon sa passport. And yung nak- nakita ko mismo yung UK visa ko guys, sobrang, sobrang saya. Aww. Sobrang... Ah, finally, finally, lahat ng mga inapplyan kong visa mula sa Schengen visa and yung UK visa, lahat sila approved. And um, hindi naman sila mamayabang guys, no? Kasi first uh, visa na inapplyan ko to and to think na Europe, di ba? Europe yung um, inapplyan kong visa. So, sobrang saya guys, sobrang na-relieve yung, yung, yung uh, feeling ko guys, yung, yung lahat ng stress, lahat ng ng anxiety na naramdaman ko while waiting for the result. Lahat yun, napawi lahat yun, guys. Kasi approve yung um, mga visa ko. And thank you, thank you talaga, Lord. So, yun, sobrang, sobrang maluha-luha ako, actually, nung pauwi na ako uh, or pabalik na ako sa um, office kasi nakalibla ako niyan for uh, three hours um, just to get the passport, guys. And habang sakay ako sa MRT, talagang pinipigilan ko yung luha ko kasi sobrang, sobrang na-overwhelm ako sa feeling ko, guys. And, um, talagang pinipigilan ko lang yung luha ko, guys, kasi nakakaya sa mga, sa mga pasahero, di ba? Mamaya sa isip mo, hindi, baka, ano, niwan ka ba yung boy ng boyfriend mo? Hindi po, single. <laughs> so, yun, sobrang naluluha-luha ako. And, alam mo yun, sobrang natouch ako na, Ah, oh Lord, sobrang bait nyo. Thank you, thank you talaga. So, yun. Um, sobrang saya ko, guys. Sobrang, sobrang saya ko. And, uh, yun. Uh, just wanna share, um, yo, yung experience ko din yung nakuha ko yung passport ko. Okay. Next question. Number 12, how do you read or interpret your UK visa? Okay. So, yun na nga. Um, once you get your passport and andun din yung um, UK visa nyo na approved, so, paano ba natin siya interpret? Actually, madali naman siya. Hindi kailangan na-interpret kasi sobrang understandable naman yung um, UK visa. Okay, so ganito yung itsura niya. So, yung uh, photo na uh, kinunan sa inyo dun sa VFS Center, yung nakalagay sa uh, v- uh, UK visa nyo. And then, nakalagay UK Entry Clearance. Okay. Place of Issue, UK VI 10. Valid from. Akin nakalagay. Um, September 6 until uh, March 6 of 2020. Diba? Bongga. And number of entries is uh, multi-entry um, and yung VAF uh, number and yung type of visa is visit and name of the applicant. So, yung pangalan ko, yung passport number ko, and yung uh, sex if it's female or male. And the date of birth um, nationality and nakalagay no work or recourse to public funds duration um, 180 days. So, yun. Very stan- understandable, guys. So, um, I was lucky, um, I was just lucky, guys, kasi um, yung inapply ko naman na visa, although hindi naman tinanong sa akin if it's a single, two entries, or multi-entry, yung uh, during the application form, guys, or during, um, filling up the application form. But I was lucky enough kasi binigyan ako ng multi-entry ng British Embassy, di ba? So, bongga. Um, and then, valid siya until uh, March of 2020. Pero, syempre, yung pamasahe din pabuntang UK, di ba? Hindi rin basta-basta. Pero, I was lucky enough kasi multi-entry yung um, binigay sa akin. So, yun. Last on our set of questionnaires. So, finally, <sighs> matatapos na rin tong kwentuhan na to. So, uh, how much did I spend? Okay, so magkano ba yung ginastos ko, guys? So, number one, uh, flight reservation ticket. So, hindi na ako nag-avail uh, through uh, Gazelle, guys. So, yung sinamit ko na lang is yung Cathay reservation ticket. And that cost me 15 US dollars or 806.56 um, pesos. Okay. And then, yung uh, BPI bank certificate, uh, that's uh, 200 uh, pesos or 200 uh, pesos per copy and that cost me 400 pesos. Why? Kasi I get another bank certificate nung mga nagaantay pa ako nung, nung uh, result ng uh, visa ko kasi I thought meron na namang interview. ba So, kumuha na ako agad ng bank certificate. So, hmm, that cost me 400 pesos. And uh, number three is yung BPI statement of account. So, that's 50 per page and uh, umabot siya ng three pages this time. 
So that's 150 pesos. And hindi ko na include hindi ko na in-include yung travel insurance ko kasi um, included na naman siya dun sa uh, Schengen travel insurance ko. Valid din siya uh, throughout UK and actually valid din siya throughout Russia. Okay. So hindi ko na siya in-include. Um, number 4 is yung uh, UK visa. So that's actually 121 US dollars or 6,453 pesos and 22 cents. Okay. And yung uh, email inquiry sa UKVI, so like I've said, the first inquiry that I had is yung nagkaroon ng problem y uh, during uh, registration of my account para makapag-book ako ng appointment. So, um, nagbayad ako doon. And then, another inquiry is yung pag-inquire uh, ko kung ano bang nangyayari sa UK uh, visa application ko, guys. So, nagbayad ulit ako doon. And um, that cost me 709 uh, pesos and four cents. Actually, if you're going to um, inquire them through uh, email, guys, that would cost you uh, five point forty eight pounds. Okay, um, different uh, fee din yon kung tatawagan yun sila through phone. Okay, pero kung sa email, that's uh, five point forty eight pounds. And then, number six is yung document scanning assistance. Like I've said, uh, you have an option whether uh, you would like to scan your uh, documents by your own and then uh, submit it online. Pero ako, I avail ko yung document scanning assistance nila and that cost me 670 pesos. And yung SMS, okay? So, that's uh, 150 pesos. And lastly, yung locker. Hmm. So, Yung lakar, 75 pesos talaga yun. So, again, yung tip ko sa inyo, uh, magdala kayo ng kasama pag mag apply kayo para may iwan nyo sa kasama nyo yung mga unnecessary things na bawat sa loob ng VFS Center. So, uh, all in all, uh, hi, um, yung expenses ko, mabot siya ng 9,414 pesos and 18 cents. Okay, so yun. Yun yung nag ko for my UK visa. Okay, so yun guys, that's uh, my experience on applying my um, UK visa and super, super thankful ako kasi from the very start, I really felt na, you know, yung guidance ni Lord sa akin mula sa pagplano ko, um, sa trip ko, mula sa pagplano ng trip hanggang sa pag-process ng um, uh, documents ko, ng visa ko and hanggang sa na-approve yung mga visa na in ko guys and I'm really, really thankful kasi um, na-approve siya lahat, ba? And to think na Europe yung pupuntahan ko. So, very thankful ako kay Lord. So, kayo din, don't forget to pray din, guys. And don't forget to, you know, ask for His guidance. Na sana, um, tulungan kayo sa pagplano, sa pag-process ng um, documents nyo, and ma-approve din yung uh, visa nyo, ba? So, don't forget to um, ask for His guidance kasi ika nga, nasa tao ang gawa, nasa Diyos ang awa. Diba? And uh, be honest. Be honest sa pag-apply um, nyo ng uh, visa nyo, guys. Um, be honest sa mga documents na pinapasa nyo. And, you know, kung pupunta kayo doon for tourist, make sure to apply for a tourist visa. And make sure uuwi din kayo sa bansa nyo, ba? Kasi, alam nyo yun, yung tiwala na binigay ng um, embassy na in yung visa nyo. And you're just gonna take it for granted. So, ba? If you're gonna be there for work, then apply for work visa. And if you're gonna be there for business, then apply for uh, business visa. Diba? So, just make sure na transparent kayo, truthful kayo dun sa mga uh, documents, and uh, truthful kayo sa ina-apply yung visa. Okay? Uh, be considerate sa other applicants. Kasi like I've said, if you're gonna do fraud on your application, iisipin ng embassy na, uh, baka ginagawa rin ito ng ibang applicants. And with that, magiging um, mas strict sila sa pag-process ng visa, guys. So, uh, maapektuhan din yung other um, applicants. Okay. So, yun. Uh, that's uh, my experience. Uh, that's my my life lesson din na napulot ko during um, applying for um, my uh, visa, guys. So, yun. Uh, I have, again, a separate uh, vlog uh, regarding about my uh, Shengyan visa. How I also... Uh, plan, process, and apply for my Schengen visa. If you haven't watched that, please do watch it, guys. And uh, I will do a separate vlog regarding about kung magkano ba yung maging, naging total expenses ko on my uh, entire Europe trip para you can also have an idea ngayon pa lang um, how much yung isa-save nyo. So you can also um, uh, have your Europe dream 
uh, or Europe trip a dream come true, di ba? So, yon. So, don't forget to uh, hit like um, if you like this video, guys. I hope uh, you've learned um, a thing or two on this vlog. And I hope uh, you didn't get bored <laughs> sa kwentuhan natin. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, okay? So, abangan ko yan yung subs subscription nyo, guys. Oh, yan. So, um... Thank you for all. Uh, thank you all for uh, watching, and uh, see you on my next vlog. All right, bye bye. Shine bright like a diamond.